with the Aboriginal communities when they first came across alcohol, they couldn't get enough of it. You know, what would take um, many, many beers for Europeans to get drunk on, um, it took a lot less for Aboriginal communities to get drunk on. Similarly with social media, I fear for young men, and I'd have no problem talking about this. I once had a problem with um, pornography, just like uh, Graham Woody had a problem with pornography when he was a younger man. I overcame that, but the problem is the kids that have it now, it is targeted at a crazy rate. They are using AI, they are using your an algorithm that especially picks every single attribute that you like and it crafts it often fakely it's not even that oh there's a girl that, that really exists out there exactly the an ai they've created it's like you guys don't stand a chance this is like the aboriginals when they first came across alcohol but it reminds me of the book the coddling of the american mind by jonathan Haidt, where he talks about the introduction of social media and the massive spike in young men and young women's suicide attempts and actual successful suicide attempts. There needs to be a huge discussion about this. Do we introduce them too early to it? Do we do we put it off and do it at a certain age? I don't know. With alcohol, I was very lucky. My dad introduced me during the safety of the home, you know, a, a few scotches every every few nights, and it was at a relatively young age. But um, but that was in the safety of the home versus getting it at 18 and getting absolutely sloshed and then and making a fool of myself and potentially killing myself in some cases.